Well, good morning, afternoon, or evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Array7, and I have finally been granted with a beta pass. Though with matchmaking literally just around the corner, I'm not sure how much that's worth at this point. After playing quite a few rounds, I've had some thoughts about weapons. In the pre-existing TF2 competitive scene, there is a massive list of weapon bans across the board, and most of them are for good reason, but now that TF2 has its own system with pretty much free reign on everything, the question becomes, should we ban weapons or just let things kind of sort themselves out? Well, as much as I hate it, my answer is a bit longer than I had originally hoped. There is a massive list of banned weapons in the competitive community. Weapons all the way from Criticola to Darwin's Danger Shield are completely cut from the roster, and for good reason. Some of these weapons are nigh infuriating to play against and make gameplay a contest of who can sling the most trash at each other without succumbing to throwing the whole game in the fuck it bucket. Me, personally, I can understand some of the problems concerning these weapons, but now that the people who have the power to change these weapons to fit the game are the ones hosting them, I sincerely think we should have a much more wide variety of unbanned weapons, and instead adjust them slightly. But while I may not be in favor of banning specific weapons entirely, I can definitely see where we have to cut the crap out of our fur. So just to give an example, I've been bombing with the quick fix this whole time, and it's been beautiful. Having played sixes with the stock for ages makes this so much better. The problem is, however, unless the other equips it as well, there's going to be a massive disadvantage. I vote the quick fix have its statistics adjusted, because as of now, the medic's jobs are limited to heal him first. While that may work for some newer players, with experienced medics it makes them much less of a key element. Ubers are always charging at max rate, leaving no reason to build whatsoever. Medic picks are almost mundane, and overall, playing medic has gotten… kinda boring, really. The one singular saving grace we have with the quick fix is being able to keep up with our team at the start of the round. Being the slowest class in a sixes match gets depressing like hell, I'll tell you that much. This is one major case for modifying a weapon that I am behind 100%. Where's the masking uber? Where's the fake charge calling, making enemies think that there's a shitstorm coming and abandoning ship? Where's the daring uber saw plays, where a measly 25% uber leech can shift the tide of games instantly? Where's the precaution from the team to time pushes with their uber advantages? I mean, why bother when the next charge comes within 30 seconds? Look, I love the quick fix. I really do. It's an extremely fun metagun. But unfortunately at the same time, it's very limiting in its glory. And this might need an adjustment to make the other metaguns viable. Ugh, good god, I never thought I'd have to say that line. Ugh. Strategy is something I would love to be a part of in matches, and being able to choose from the metaguns means that we could go for a crits without forfeiting too much of an advantage. That could easily be the play that makes the next push possible, but when you can get an uber charge so much faster with the quick fix, you'll be hard pressed to even get a single charge with anything else. So on a much more unrelated note, I mentioned before that there are a few weapons I think that should be banned completely, and I completely stand by that. Just simply flat out disabled, not allowed, no comprende, not happening. The rocket jumper being a huge, gigantic one. The last thing I want is some Kentucky fuckboy trying to channel his inner YouTubing soldier montage and try market gardening people. I've seen it attempted before, and uh, it's not pretty, no. Not only is it annoying to see those ever predictable binds, but it's torture for his team pretty much being down a teammate. And sure, that trollger might get a kill or two, but at that point, what's competitive going to be besides a glorified pub? I strongly disagree with the rocket jumper being allowed, but... You know, at the same time, if we take that same attitude and ban all the weapons we may disagree with, we have successfully turned TF2 into the game it originated from, Quake. That's not the game I want to play. I want to play Team Fortress 2. I mean, at least that's what it says on the box. I mean, I've been bamboozled before by Hat Fortress, but luckily it turned out I was still playing the same game. Go to fool me, you almost got me. You almost got me, TF2, but no, 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 you're not hiding behind hats. You got me, man, you got me. And not hide behind hats, don't worry. So, as much as I can appreciate people wanting to better judge of skill in the game, I would rather enjoy playing in a competitive setting with all the lifeblood still in the game, where sometimes the strangest tactics have a chance to pull through. 
And at that point, maybe skill is also measured in how well you manage to team up and manipulate the game more in your favor. But the bottom line is, I love 92% of these weapons, and I would love to see them stay in game. Banning them would simply take the fun out of TF2 and turn it into some cutthroat competitive sport, which is something I believe this game can be without the chokehold. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Array7, and I'm sure all of the Six's elitists are swearing me down at this point, so if you disagree politely with what I have to say, then by all means let me know in the war zone below. Have a handsomely wonderful rest of your day. I'm the invincible, undefeated champ I on Mount Zion's my ancestors camp alliance. Star with David, nah, the thought of star dumb. Modern dumb and done crumbs left to the dumb thumb to this play button, glutton of words. Mutt, mutton, birds of fly to fly to you, dropping turds. Hopping up on ignorance to feel how your mighty pop up the real. Dance the visual, cry to deity. Pious piety, mighty be the sea is truly to be me. I see everything there is, so I'm 